Gurudev, uh, could you speak on the Shiva principle from the point of view of classical and uh, quantum uh, physics? Shiva principle is the summum bonum of whole creation. As you know, through quantum physics, we say everything is vibration. Shiva principle is that general vibration. In vibration, they, the, the ancient rishis said two types of vibration. One is the common vibration or the general vibration and then they said special vibrations. Special vibration or the modified vibration of the general vibration. So, so Samanya Spanda, Spanda means uh, waves, vibration. Shiva is called the Samanya Spanda, the common vibration of the whole existence. And earth, water, fire, ether, any object that you perceive, you can see, they are called special vibrations. So, uh, Vishesha Spanda. The Vishesha Spanda is not as important as the common spanda. Chandrayaan, who Gagaryaan gaye thi, Chandrayaan ke scientist hai, maa se vajgyani ke to kuch prashna pooch ra ashe wa tattva ke baare mein, to wo mein baat kar. So, uh, the special vibrations or the objects and the common vibration or original vibration, general vibration is what is called Shiva Tattva. So, without Shiva Tattva, there is no other tattva can exist. Like without space, no object can exist. That is, Shiva is also called Akasha, Chidakash. Chidakash is the, the space of consciousness in which everything else exists. So even if you want to be away from Shiva, it is impossible. Because existence itself is Shiva. Gurudev, physics have not, uh, physicists have noted that similarity between the probability density field of an electron and the dance of Shiva. What is the connection between the movement of uh, subatomic particles and uh, Shiva's dance? Yeah, Shiva's, there are 108 dance poses of Shiva. And so, uh, you have said it very nicely, as scientist you have shown the atomic particle moves like the dance of Shiva because nothing is stationary, everything is uh, in movement. And so also Shiva is in principle, is in constant movement and that is why it is consciousness. And Ananda Tandava, there is many Tandavas, one is Ananda Tandava, the waves of bliss, and the waves of bliss gets generated when uh, Shiva Tattva or Shiva principle is imbibed or recognized in the being. Yeah. Uh, Gurudev, could you please sp speak on dark matter, dark energy and uh, Shiva principle? Well, uh, Dark matter and dark energy. Uh, in the Rig Veda, there is a sukta called Nasadiya Sukta. In Nasadiya Sukta, it is said, in the beginning, there was darkness enveloped by darkness. These people could not understand what, what did this? When the, when the German uh, scholar Max Muller came to India, he was the one who first translated um, Vedas into English, then he said he could not understand what is the dark matter, the darkness enveloped by darkness, and there was water, and there was movement. The, this or the, uh, but then um, meditation could reveal this. Aurobindo, Rishi Aurobindo, completely saw that from the other side of experience. And today scientists have really said, uh, have understood what the ancient principle that said was grand. In the beginning there was neither existence nor non-existence. 
नासदासी नो सदासी तदानी यू कांट से इट एग्जिस्टेड यू कांट से इट डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट एंड द डार्कनेस वॉज सराउंडेड बाई डार्कनेस सो एक्चुअली शिवा प्रिंसिपल कैन नॉट बी अंडरस्टूड बाय आवर लॉजिकल माइंड इट इज beyond that it's an experiential existence uh, what is the energy phenomenon that happens especially during shivaratri shivaratri the uh, is actually there are 12 shivaratris every month there is one shivaratri before the new moon but this one in the magha masa is Uh, considered very special on this day you sit and meditate chant om namo shivaya and that it is beneficial for one spiritual growth so it mahashivaratri meditations are very vibrant powerful and you feel deeper connection to the existence you are anyway connected to the existence on but when you go deeper in meditation go beyond the ephemeral then you feel that connection more and uh, for spiritual evolution it said it just removes all the uh, the mala avarna and vikshepa all the impurities in the mind and the veil on the soul you know soul comes with a veil and shivaratri is the day when the veil is loosened up you can peep through the veil something that is beyond um, human comprehension yeah so meditating on shivaratri day in layman's word says it removes all the sins and your desires get fulfilled so layman has said oh, just do meditation shivaratri day chant om namo shivaya and you wish something and it can happen so our consciousness is also like computer whatever wish you put at a particular condition the wish manifests and different places different situation different time is more congenial for that. see for example um, when you plant trees or uh, there are fruits which are seasonal mango grows only in this season the summer right it can be grown in the greenhouse that is a different thing <laughs> anything can be grown in the greenhouse and at any time with controlled temperature but normally there is a season where the trees bear fruit like that some of the festival navratri shivratri are those time when our prayers are answered our wishes bear fruits that's the ancient beliefs and it is happening for millions of years now yeah gurudev when the devi was born as daksha's daughter she couldn't remain as shiva's consort but as the daughter of himavan as parvati she remains as the consort of shiva what was the difference see the puranas you cannot just see from one side all these puranas have got deeper meanings many aspects in it many different ways you can see it one thing is shiva and shakti cannot be separated if they separate then there is problem so <laughs> that's why they are part of each other and this uh, apparent distance or difference is only for understanding understanding the matter as separate from energy matter and energy cannot be separated but for for, for common understanding another level the classical chemistry level we understand all these are different matters but in the quantum physics there is no difference it doesn't matter 
what periodic table you, you are looking into it, none of those matter. All that matters is the wave function. 